On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring Intuit Enterprise Suite product updates to multi-entity functionality. Hey, Bro Advisors, it's Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know, where you can get exclusive access to demos of Intuit product enhancements by the leaders who built them. Let's jump right in with Manuel for a review of multi-entity updates to IES. Manuel, welcome, and thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Jackly. I'm super excited to bring the new features and enhancements that we're launching in this new IES release. As you can see, these are quite broad features and enhancements, uh, but they are divided into four main buckets, right? So multi-entity accounting and financial management, dimensions and business intelligence, industry-specific customizations, and security and compliance. Today, we're going to focus more on the multi-entity side of things. So let's begin with our core improvements to multi-entity accounting and financial management, and I'll walk you through it. One of our key improvements uh, to multi-entity is in handling manual eliminations. We've simplified the process of removing into company transactions, and now you can adjust elimination amounts in one centralized location, ensuring your financial statements comply with the accounting standards and are always accurate without having to touch individual entry books or rely on adjusted journal entries. On top of that, we also have multi-entity consolidated reports right there in the product. Uh, beforehand, you'd have to rely on spreadsheets and spreadsheet sync to see your consolidated reports. Now, you have access to these comprehensive financial reports across all of your companies within IES, including balance sheets, profit and loss statements, cash flow statements, and trial balance reports. And with this, Gone are the days of syncing with spreadsheets so you save valuable time where, while gaining deeper insights into cross-entity performance across your whole organization. Next, within the multi-entity side of things, there's user visibility. This is one of the significant enhancements that uh, we're launching, and this is improvement user visibility across all of your entities. So any admin in your organization can now view and manage all users from a single centralized location and this means that you can see which entities each user has access to, their assigned roles, their current status, and make any immediate access changes that you need without having to switch between entities when managing access, saving valuable time. Lastly, we also have recurring payments that will allow you to set up automatic uh, recurring payments for your customers, giving you predictability over your cash flow and control over these recurring payments if you are uh, one of the customers that uses QuickBooks online payments. On top of that, we also have our automated AI Power 1099s. IES is also going to allow you to automatically complete your 1099s, helping you collect any missing information, preparing forms for your review, this means no more manual tracking and form preparation, and this allows you to simply review and improve the AI-generated 1099, saving you significant time during tax season. Thank you so much for having me, Jacqueline. I'm super excited to release this to our customers and having them have an even better IES experience. Well, thank you so much for that demo of the multi-entity updates. Really appreciate you being on the show. And thank you for watching. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. So let me recap with the fast facts. These updates to IES are live as of December 2024. You can get the full release notes in the link below. And that's all we have for now. For more product updates and demos, check out our In The Know Hub and be sure to register for our monthly live webinar. We'll catch you next time.